In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. We are on Thursday, the second day of December in the year of our Lord and Savior, 2021. In fact, we, yesterday we started the countdown to the end of 2021. So now we have got uh, 29 days left. So we, were look, we are looking at the, the types of crises that we, we may be into um, so that then we can also be able to ask, what do we do? Of course, some of this information is already with us. And we ended at a point where we were talking about um, mistreatment by others. When others decide to become our own pain. From there, lack of resources. You feel that you are running out of energy, resources and ideas as to how to handle problems in life. And this can happen. I was sharing with somebody who is nursing a sick mother. You have a sick mom, and the resources have decided to dry up. So the pain is doubled. There is a pain of a sick mom, and the pain of unavailability of resources. Sometimes we take this for granted, and then we say, you know, we, we don't need material things, we need them. Because we don't just ask for them from the blues. We make a decision that uh, this is our path. And sometimes what we need, uh, and as, as, uh, what we need is, not, is not something that we can do without. Others we can, others we cannot. So in the event that we do not even have, that causes emotional pain. Lack of mentors is another area. You feel you are desperately in need of help, but you do not know whom to turn to for advice or solution. Do you know there are so many people out there? They are paining. They know that they need help, but they do not know where to go. And part of the reason may be they may have been betrayed in the past and therefore they are just afraid that maybe things may turn as they were. I tried, but nothing worked. Emotional pain is number nine. Suffering from anxiety, panic attacks, anger, torment, resentment, mention them. Many a times, this is the pain that is not tactile. Sometimes we are not even able to say where the pain is. Emotional pain is so bad because you can't even point a finger at it. Unforgiveness is number 10. You are upset, very angry, you are, you are, you are hurtful, and you cannot forget, forgive those who have hurt you. And we have talked about unforgiveness in, uh, in the process of our journey. It is a wound sometimes that refuses to go. And especially when we have decided not to address it. Simply because whatever was done was just bad enough. And because of that, I don't feel as though I would want to forgive whoever it is that caused the pain in me. And that is why we said, part of the reflection we said is that uh, for us to adequately get inner healed, we must address issues like unforgiveness. Number 11 is connected with um, number 7, financial difficulties. When you are having financial problems, and you seem to have no way out. There is one, it is one thing to be broke, because all of us, okay, I'm not very sure, let me just put it this way, most of us have been broke at, at one time or the other. But there is this feeling when you are broke, and you know that uh, maybe... I'll get some salary end of the month. 
or maybe somebody has my money and the person may be paying soon. Such a person is different from a person who is broke and have no idea at all, at all. No idea how to sort out the mess they are in, financial mess they are in. The pain in that po at that point is worse than anything else that we can ever talk about. Then losing a job, and especially a job that you have really, really waited for, a job that you have invested a lot of emotions in it. This can be depressing. I know people who have committed suicide when they lost their jobs. I know people who even lost their families after the job was lost. Why? Because they almost became completely incapacitated. Number 13 is depression. Lack of energy, helplessness, hopelessness, and suicidal thoughts. I may not be able this point because it is something that I have really, really explained. Lack of love. If you remember what we did, I think, on Tuesday, mistreatment by others. Of course, you cannot be mistreated by somebody who loves you. Each one of us as a human person, we desire to be loved. So you can imagine in a situation where nobody loves you and you feel out of place, you feel hated, you feel awkward, you feel hopeless. Your family or even the significant others in your life don't seem to value you at all. They treat you without respect. They treat you without love. They treat you as though you are a thing, not a human being. Number 15, addiction. Suffering from any form of addiction. And they are there in their numbers. Drugs, alcohol, uh, betting, gabbering, mention them, all of them. Uh, there are so many addictions that we can talk about. And addiction is a disease. There is nobody who is comfortable who is addicted. If you find one, then the person may be sick. It is not normal to be at home with an addiction. Not possible. Not normal. Seven, 16, your family's addiction problem. When your family is suffering from a certain addiction and you, be, and you are so helpless, what you can do? The, the addiction number one was maybe it is mine. But then... Think of a situation where your mother is suffering from addiction, some form of addiction, your dad is suffering from another form of addiction, and you are completely helpless. You try to pray, it can't go. You're wondering, do I talk to them? It can't work. Do I say somebody? I don't think whether they will listen. But you feel so helpless but helpless as you are, the situation is not changing. So what happens? It starts eating you up. Lack of direction and purpose in life. You don't know the purpose of your life. You feel empty. You feel hollow. You feel out of place. Out of place and perpetually lonely, perpetually lonely. It doesn't matter whether you are a medicine people, but you feel lonely and you feel completely out of place. Lack of fulfillment in a job. Now, there is a pain of lack of a job, and there is another point, a pain, you have a job, but completely you have no fulfillment at all. Maybe your education is low. Maybe the experience for that work is not there. But this keeps you from getting a job that you'd like to have. There is nothing as bad as being in a position where you are desiring to do something. But much as you desire, 
there is a factor that is hindering you. And maybe, this is not even the worst part, maybe you can't fix it. It's just like going for a job interview, maybe an interview that you had not known the details. And maybe you have gone to school uh, and you are a diploma holder. And then you go, maybe you are 10 of you, and you are the only one who, ha who has a diploma. The others have a first degree, other second degrees. But they have, of course, they have more people than you do. And this is a job that your heart is longing for. You see, there is a technicality that might end up putting you out of that job. That is exactly what I'm talking about. Number 19, cultural of values. People around you don't value you because of the way you are shaped, your gender, or your color. Now, that one is sad because it happens like all the time. And finally, your own value system. When you are having difficult times valuing yourself, when you're having difficult times loving yourself, when you're having difficult times appreciating yourself, when you're having difficult, difficult time approving yourself, when you're having difficult time validating yourself, in fact, you treat yourself with a certain level of dubiousness. And you can't even tell what is happening. It is it's very sad. Very sad. Extremely sad. Allow me to stop there. May the Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Do have a productive Thursday.